This video is brought to you by, AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have imported all the files required for this project, you can download them from below link in the description. The complete After Effects template is also available on my web store, check out the link in the description. Now let's see how to create this logo reveal, create a new composition, I will name it as logo reveal. Set time duration to, 8 seconds, remaining everything will be same. Perfect. Now let's add logo to the timeline. Here you can scale your logo if needed, I will scale my logo. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose it, name it as logo. Select move all attribute into new composition. Now let's add the reflection media file to the timeline. Now pre-compose it, name it as Reflection. Place it below Logo Composition, for Reflection, change Track Matte to Alpha Matte Logo. For Reflection Composition, in Effects and Preset, search for CC Blob Eyes. Add it to Reflection. In Blobbiness, change Blob Layer to, Logo. Change Softness to, 2. Change Cutaway to, 5. Now in light. Change type to, point light. Here you can adjust the light position. Now let's add slight blur, in effects and preset. Search for Gaussian blur, add it to reflection, here we will set blurriness to, 3. Let's place it above the blobilize effect. From project panel, add the logo composition to the timeline. For logo, change mode to, overlay. Select all compositions, pre-compose them. Name it as glass logo. Perfect. Now let's add the texture media file to the timeline. Scale it to 50%. Pre-compose it. Name it as texture. Now add the glass logo composition to the timeline. For texture composition, change track matte to, alpha matte glass logo. For texture, change mode to, multiply. Perfect. Now select all composition. Pre-compose them. Name it as, Texture Logo. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as Background. Now in Effects and Preset, search for Gradient Ramp. Add it to the background layer. Here you can set any color of your choice. Change ramp shape to, radial ramp, ramp scatter to, 500. Place it below.
Now from project panel, add the floor media file to timeline. Scale it to 50%. Change it to 3D. Now let's change X orientation to 90 degrees. Now adjust the position as shown. For this floor media file, in effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to the floor media. Select mirror edges. Now increase the output width and height as shown. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. Make sure fill color is set to white. Now create mask for the solid layer as shown. Now for mask, adjust the mask feather value. I will set it to near about 100. Perfect. Now select floor and white solid layer. Pre-compose them, name it as floor. Now let's hide this floor media composition. Now for texture logo, in effects and preset. Search for mirror, add it to the texture logo composition. For mirror, set direction to 90 degree. Now adjust the reflection center. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for compound blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. For blur layer, select floor. Select invert. Here I will set maximum blur to 70. Here you can set it according to your choice. Now again create adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for noise. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set amount of noise to 7. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be our frame. Make sure fill color is set to black. Now double click on this rectangle tool to create mask. Let's change mask path. Change unit to percent of source. Set top to 10%. Set bottom to 90%. Select inverted. Now at the start our logo is still visible. Let's hide it. For texture logo, press T to bring up opacity. At 2 seconds, create keyframe for opacity. Now at start, set opacity to 0%. Now at 6 seconds, create keyframe for opacity. Now at end of the timeline, set opacity to 0%. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect, here our metal logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.